mathematics. Today I'm going to start, now I'm going to start the question number eight. This is from uh, Cambridge O-Level Additional Mathematics, paper 12. So let's see what is happening and next. Uh, I think this is, it will be from permutation and combination. We already have seen the formula from permutation and combination. Look at the question. Find the number of ways in which 12 people can put into three groups containing three, four, and five peoples. So there are total five, 12 peoples, and we will first, uh, from 12, let me take three. So 12, I mean, C, three. Since I have taken three from 12, now there are total remaining nine. From nine, let me choose four people. Then there is remaining five. Let me take from five people. Let me choose all these five peoples. Now let, let me simplify all this. We are having 12 C3, that is 220, and 9 C4, 9 C4 is 126, then one. If you multiply all this, you are having 27720. Okay. So I think this is quite easy to solve. So you can use these calculators to find out the result. Now let's see question number, I mean B. Four digit numbers, okay. Uh, uh, we are making these four digit numbers using two, three, seven, eight, nine. Each digit may be used once only in four digits numbers. Find how many four digits numbers can be found in so this is the four digits numbers for one, two, three, four digits numbers. Okay, what ways you can feel? So there are four numbers, one, two, three, four, five, five numbers from five. We can place it in five ways, then four ways, then three ways, and then two ways. If you multiply five for the 20, that is, it is 120. Now, uh, the number is even. Okay, to make it even, the first place can be two uh, or first place can be eight. I mean, unit place can be eight. So if you place here two, if you place here two, there are one, two, three, four numbers. So you can place it in four different ways four different ways, then this can be placed in three different ways, then this can be two different ways. Okay, in that same way, if I substitute here eight, then there are remaining four more numbers. So four different ways, three different ways and two different ways. If you plus all this, you'll get the answer. Three, four, the 12, 12, 24, then 48. There, this answer will be 48. Now, this is the last number, last match. The number is greater than 7,000 and odd. So, if it can be, I mean, it be 7,000, greater than 7,000, it must be placed by 7 or it must be placed by 8. This place must be placed by 8. Then, it can be placed by nine. So since uh, we need to uh, make it odd, so we can substitute this one, this place by three or nine. This is three or nine. This is three or nine or nine. Any one I can uh, put here since I used seven. Now, if I use here eight, I can uh, use here three, seven, nine. 
and then if I use nine here, I can use here three and seven. Now let me simplify. Uh, I, I this is fixed. This is also fixed. I already two there's three numbers. That is three into three numbers. This can be placed by three numbers. And then this can be placed by two numbers. Then there are two numbers so multiply by two. Three into same way into three. This is also three into two into two. Now let me simplify three to the six, six to the 12, three to the six, three to the six, three to the six are 18, and three to the six, six to the 12. And if you add all this, you are having 12. <coughs> let me use calculator 12 plus 18 plus 12. So you are having. 42 your answer is becoming 42 so this the this maths that is taken from permutation and combination so thank you very much for watching this one now let's see what is coming next so me anjan bhattacharji here to explain today and uh, to uh, explain Additional mathematics, uh, variant 12. So I'm uh, that is question number nine. So a curve has equation y equals to 2x minus 1 root over 4x plus 3. Show that this one at its total carries 5 marks. So before starting this one, let me see the formula root x equals to 1 by 2 root x. You can use different formulas. And ddx of uv equals to u ddx of v plus v ddx of u. So let me try here y equals to 2x minus 1 root over 4x plus 3. So dy dx will be differentiating obviously with respect to x. So 2x minus 1 ddx of root over 4x plus 3 plus root over 4x plus 3 ddx of 2x minus 1. Okay. So 2x minus 1. Now uh, we can easily write here uh, 2x minus 1 then 1 by Two root first formula i'm using this one root over 4x plus 3 and obviously must apply chain rule i mean ddx of 4x plus 3 then let me keep the thing same then and uh, this will be x is 1 that is 2 minus 1 0 so 2 here and then differentiate x is 1 then 3 is 0 so 4 4 times 2x minus 1 divided by 2 root 4x plus 3 plus 2 root over 4x plus 3. So let me simplify here to do the 4 and then do LCM uh, 4x plus 3. Then simplify here to do the 4x minus 2 plus. If you multiply this two, it will be four x plus three. Now, if I simplify more, and this is four x, this is four to eight x, eight four twelve, twelve x, and then three to the six, six two, and there's six minus two, that is plus four root over four x square plus three, and then we can simplify this. If you see the question, 4 is common ax plus b. So 4, 3x plus 1 divided by 4x plus 3. This there cannot be two. okay. So it's already shown where a and b are constant. That's the this is the answer. Now hence write the coordinates of the stationary point of the curve. It's very easy. We know that at a stationary point at 
stationary point dy dx equals to zero. So we can write here, this is the dy dx result. So we can write here four, three x plus one root over four x plus three equals to zero. So therefore x equals to minus one by three. Now there is given to, uh, I mean, determine the nature of uh, the stationary nature of the roots. That means we need to do double differentiation. So we can write here, um, I mean, second derivatives, we need to find out second derivatives or I think it will be more easier if I put the values uh, x less than minus one by three, if we check, I think it will be more better if we use second derivatives, though it is lengthy, then it is better. 4x plus 3 whole square, then 4x plus 3 into 12 minus x plus 4 into 1 by 2 root 4x plus 3 into 4. Now we will use the values of um, Uh, minus one by three let me use here minus one by three then use calculator that is minus one by three minus one by three four into one by three plus three into twelve minus minus one by three plus four though it is a bit complicated don't try to do mentally i will suggest you to use calculator all the time or you can follow another method that is uh, what is happening neighborhood of these points so i think it will be positive if you use calculator use calculator to solve that means the point is minimum so the basic concept is that when you are trying to find out the coordinates of stationary point that time use u by dx equals to zero then find out the values of x and uh, to find out whether it is maximum or minimum, you can follow two methods. First of all, second derivatives. If second derivatives value is greater than zero, it is minimum and less than zero, this is maximum. And uh, what is happening uh, near the neighborhood of x equals to minus one by three, I mean, if you go after minus one by three, then what is happening regarding dy dx? And if you go below minus one by three, then check what is happening for dy dx. We can decide from also there. So thank you for watching this maths and let's see for uh, next one. Additional mathematics, variant 12. Uh, this is for O-level Cambridge students. I'm Anjan Bhattacharji, experienced in teaching O and A-level mathematics. So the polynomial px equals to 6x cubed plus ax square plus bx plus 2, where a and b are integers, has a factor of x minus 2. Given that p1 equals to minus 2, p0, find the value of a and b. 
So let me use X value here and zero values here. Uh, so one that is six plus A plus B times one plus two equals to let me use X value is zero, zero, zero. So this becoming minus four. So uh, this is six to eight, eight, a plus b plus to six eight minus twelve is equation number one and since this is the factor so we can write here six times eight plus a times four plus b times two plus two equals to zero so four a plus two b six a is a 48 plus 50 to minus 50. Now simplify 2a plus b equals to minus 25. Now if we simplify this to I mean equation number one and equation number two, let me write here a plus b equals to minus 12. Let me subtract so a equals to plus that is minus 13. And if you uh, substitute it instead of I mean, A in equation number one, minus 13 plus B equals to minus 12. So B equals to one. So A is minus 13 and B is one. This is the answer. I mean, for the values of A and B. Now let's see what is happening. Using your values of A and B, uh, Find the remainder of Px is divided by 2x minus half. So just straight substitute uh, x equals to half in that equation. So P half equals to 6 by 8 minus 13 by 4 plus half plus 2, that is 0. Okay, so remainder is that is 0. So we will now factorize. 6x cube plus, so let me write it here, plus, and then ax square means minus 13x square, x square, then bx means x plus 2. Now here we can, um, I mean, Factors. This is also very easy. We can do long division or synthetic division. Anyways, we can do because this x equals to two is factor. So uh, two is a factor. Uh, that is six minus thirteen. One two. Let me keep it same. Six six to the six to the twelve. Then this is becoming minus one minus thirteen plus twelve minus one. Then minus two. So this is minus one, minus two, that is zero. So it's becoming x minus two, then six x square minus x minus one. Then it's simply middle term, six x square minus three x plus two x plus two x minus one. So x minus two, three x is common. 2x minus 1, minus 1. So final answer is becoming. So this is the final answer. So thank you very much for watching this. I hope you are enjoying this part. So if you practice more, if you pay more attention, you can solve these things quite easily. Hello viewers, I am Anjan Motacharji, experienced in teaching O and A level mathematics. Uh, let me see for next question. This is question number 11.
look at the question this is the diagram shows the rectangle a d e f a d e f f i mean f is r d is also r the point b and c lie on ad such that ab equals to cd ab equals to cd equals to r the curve bc is an arc of the circle center o radius r and has a length 1.5 r i mean radius r and has arc length of 1.5 r show that the perimeter of the shaded region the curve bc the curve bc is an arc of the circle center row and radius r has a length 1.5 r so we need to find out the perimeter okay this length is 1.5 r we know that l equals to r theta so that is 1.5 r equals to r theta therefore theta equals to 1.5 now let me draw a line here in the middle this isosceles triangle so the whole thing is theta uh, this will be 1.5 divided by 2 so 0 0.75 0 0.75 now so the half the whole thing thing is if it is x x by 2 x by 2 so sine 0 0.75 equals to x by 2 divided by r okay so r sine 0 0.r equals to that is 2r obviously x equals to so this is the length okay now perimeter this is r this is r this is 1.5 r so 2r 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 then 3.5 r 3.5 r 5.5 r 5 r plus no uh, r plus r plus 1.5 r plus r plus r plus r plus r plus 2 r sin 0 0.75 1 2 3 4 5 6 7.5 r plus 2 r sin 0 0.75 if r is common let me take r as common so it is becoming sine 0 0.75 r so this is the perimeter now we are going to find out the area of the shaded uh, region area of the shaded region that means we know that the the area of this part will be r into length into breadth and from that area we can subtract this part so r into 2r plus this area of the rectangle uh, 2r 2r sin 0 0.75 2r sin 0 0.75 hmm. 
two r sin zero point six. This is the area of rectangle. Two r sin zero point seven five, and then minus area of segment. I mean, we need to subtract this part. Subtract this part. This is the area of sector minus area of triangle. So let me write here. Area of sector half r square sine one point five minus half r square no into half r square theta one point five. Minus half r square sine one point five. So this is the I mean formula. Now we can simplify. We can simplify all this. This is two r square. This is two r square. Sin zero point seven five minus half r square one point five divided by seven point five zero point seven five r square minus zero point five r square sin one point five and if you calculate all this if you take r square as common suppose two plus two Sine not point seven five minus zero point seven five minus zero point five sine one point five then R square. If you use calculator, I mean if we add all this, we are having three point one one R square. This is the area area of the area of the shaded. This is the shaded part. Area of the shaded part. So I think this is not so tough. You can easily solve it if you concentrate properly. And then in these papers, there is one more maths. And see this question. This is velocity time graph. Okay. But, um, the diagram shows the velocity time graph of the velocity time graph of particle p that travels to 775 meter in 90 seconds reaching the velocity is v find the um, value of b we already know that velocity time in velocity time graph in velocity time graph area of the shape i mean area of the area under the curve denotes the distance and area of trapezium is half a b sin theta or sometimes we need the rectangle area of rectangle equals to length multiplied by breadth then area of triangle half base into height this simple concept if you apply you can easily find out the value of x so let's see this question so this is velocity time graph that is area represents i mean distance so the distance is 2775 meter so let me consider this is one part so 60 60 then this part is 40 distance between it is 30 then half so we have got this part now let me see this is the trapezium now then plus this is v plus this length is 30 then distance between i mean the, there is time is distance between parallel lines 90 minus 60 that is 30 into half now simplify 2775 uh, you will get the 
result. So 60, this is 100, this is 15. So 1500 0, 0, plus this is 15 B plus 30 equals to 2775. So let me use calculator. 2775 minus 1500 0, 0, minus um, 450 divided by 15. So the velocity is 55 meter per second. So that is your answer is becoming now velocity equals to 55 meter per second. Now uh, see this question velocity time graph. Now let me find out acceleration of P when T goes to 40. T goes to 40. So where is the 40? T is 40 is here. So this acceleration is zero because there is no gradient. It's not steeper. So the acceleration will be zero. Acceleration is to zero. Now, let's see what is happening. Oh, this is another question. It's a bit separated maths. The acceleration A of particle traveling straight line is given this one. We need to find out. So at T0, velocity is 10 meter per second. We have learned if you, I mean, displacement is differentiated. We are having velocity differentiated. And velocity is differentiated. We are having acceleration. And acceleration is integrated. We are having velocity. Velocity is integrated. We are having displacement. So this is acceleration given. Six cos two t. So if you, I mean, integrate this one, we are having velocity. So six by two sine two t obviously plus c. When t zero at t equals to 0, v equals to 10 meter per second. So let me place 6 by 2 sine 0 plus c. So c equals to 10. That means v is becoming 3 sine 2t plus 10. So this is the answer and this is the velocity of Q at time t equals to zero. I mean, velocity of Q at time t. So now we need to find out the displacement of Q from O at time t. So let's see now, let me integrate this one. Uh, displacement equals to three by two cos two t plus 10 t plus we have considered that c, now we can consider b here. Okay. Mm, graph initially Initially, T is zero. Initially, initially, T equals to zero. And then displacement is also zero. So, zero equals to minus three by two T cos zero, that is one plus d this is also zero so therefore d equals to three by two so s equals to minus three by two 
cos 2t plus tan t plus 3 by 2. So this is the last questions of this question number 12. So now if we see the question completely, that is we have done the papers. This is October November 2020, two hours exam papers, paper one, additional maths, formula parts given. I have done number one here. Yeah. Number two also, number three here, then number four, number five, six, final number seven, number eight, number nine, number 10, number 11, number 12. So stay with me to see, to get, uh, latest information regarding maths at maths maths d o level maths a level maths a level maths means statistics your maths mechanics and further maths also of a level so thank you very much i'm here again on john Bhattacharji experienced in o and a level mathematics any queries any question write me i'll try to solve. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.